Cosmos' Quick Stop is a co-op game where you play frantic minigames to help customers at your uncle's space gas station. And it's pretty good. Reminds me of Overcooked or Cook Serve Delicious. It's a little different since a lot of communication is required, but not a lot of teamwork. You'll be doing your own tasks. Since I'll play every co-op game I can convince my wife to join in on, and they're not always great. So I'm glad I can recommend Cosmos' Quick Stop, and hopefully she'll keep playing games with me. But let me give you a little more info to really stimulate your gaming desires. As you now know, you're running your uncle's Quick Stop. However, he makes you run it without him. It's like a terrible summer internship, except there's no summer in space. Your only backup is a robot that a second player controls. Seems rude, and there's long, stressful hours with very little pay. The main character's misery is to your benefit, though. Running a space pit stop is hard work, as you're running around filling gas tanks, charging batteries, stocking the vending machine, directing customers where to go, and dodging asteroids. I don't think that even covers half the tasks. Now, I know I'm calling them minigames, but they're even smaller and simpler than you might imagine. For example, filling a gas tank requires you to engage the pump and shake your joystick up and down as if you're actually pumping. Another example are the ship cleaning robots. For those, you stand in front of the machine and press a button combination. There are only a few combinations, so you'll get quite good as you memorize it. All of this and more as a meteor might come flying towards your station, and you'll have to drop everything to take evasive maneuvers. Cosmos's quick stop becomes challenging once your station fills with ships and customers trying to use all your station's facilities. You frantically run around trying to keep up with every task. In these moments, the game is at its best. Keep in mind, while your uncle doesn't help run the station, he is trying to keep it fresh. He comes up with new ideas that add more tasks or facilities to the station. Because of that, Cosmos' Quick Stop does a good job of making sure the game doesn't get stale. For example, the game forces you to swap facilities or else they might break. Also, there are story situations which gives the game unique days. I loved the silly story days and did not get bored. Anyway, you start each day at the layout board. Here you can swap facilities around and spend upgrade points. Choosing your facilities is straightforward and easy. Upgrades are painless to manage, but require a little more attention since you can swap them out whenever you want. However, the facility needs to be leveled up before you can add upgrade points to it. You'll also want to remove any upgrades for facilities you're not using for the next day. It's a little upkeep, but it's, it's not annoying. The system is fine. While it doesn't bring any joy, the upgrades only make your tasks easier. It's great to reduce the effort a little bit for the tasks you don't like, but in the end, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. Honestly, Cosmos' Quick Stop is absolutely best played with someone else. I played a little alone, and I did have fun. You get the same frantic gameplay either way. <sighs> However, playing with someone else is always better. When you're working together, yelling out your tasks, it's too much fun. We had a blast. Although together, we were a little too good, and while it is fun, the game is a little too easy. We were getting perfect days, and we're not used to that. Maybe we've reached some higher level of amazing communication, but I seriously doubt it. And in Cook Serve Delicious, we would usually have a few mistakes with perfect days being a great success, a real celebration, a reason to toast, if you will. So I do think Cosmos' Quick Stop is fine to play alone, but as with all games, it's better with a friend. So, do you play with keyboard or controller? Both are fine to use, and some mini games are actually easier with one over the other. 
An example I used earlier where you had to pump the gas by moving the mouse up and down is much easier than having to use the joystick up and down. I can move the mouse so much faster and therefore complete the task faster. But there are examples where the controller is better. To explain, I'm going to use the cleaning mini game I mentioned before. On the controller, you only have to press the normal buttons, the face ones, so you don't have to move your hand so much. But on a keyboard, you have to press the letters C, T, U, or L, which means you have to take your hand off the mouse and move it all the way back to the keyboard. I didn't have much trouble, but compared to using the controller, it's much more of a challenge. I don't think either one is overpowered, but I wanted to mention the differences. Before the summary, I wanted to note that you can pet the cat in the game. Well, you, you can try. As with real cats, petting them doesn't always go as you expect. It's, it's a cat. But you can make an attempt and that's what matters. Overall, the game is very good. And if you're looking for something to play with a friend, then you should definitely pick it up. I'm not going to lie and say it's better than Cook Serve Delicious, and it doesn't make me want to murder somebody like Overcooked. But Cosmos' Quick Stop is its own game that brings something different. I really enjoyed the theme, and the mini games are quality. Just a fun, hang out and play kind of game. I recommend it. Thanks for watching. I love doing these co-op games because they give me the chance to play with my wife, and we really enjoy them. And now I have to search for another one so I can experience joy yet again. Subscribe to help.